All right, everybody, this is Ross. Today we're gonna talk about when you should be picking your peaches. We're also gonna kind of touch on a little bit about my harvest here, some of the issues that we're running into, and we're probably gonna also touch a little bit on the trees themselves. Some you know different tips I have that we'll look at later in the video as we'll go over to the espiate peaches I have over here and look at the trees themselves. Um, on the left here is an espiate red haven. And that is what we're looking at today, the fruits from my Red Haven tree. It's a spectacular variety that every single year performs super well. Um, it's mostly disease free, although we do get some brown rot here. As you can see, this is the beginning of it. Uh, this is typically caused by, you know, not enough sunlight, um, too much moisture, uh, fruits that are very close together and you didn't thin them out enough. Also, plum cucurlio is I think a lot of the fruits that early in the season, like this right here, appears to be uh, some plum cucurlio that happened a while ago. Same thing with this bite mark there. A lot of the peaches tend to outgrow the bite and it doesn't necessarily become an issue. Um, I find, oddly enough, they go after more of the plums and the apricots um, and the peaches later in the season. Uh, for whatever reason, the peaches now tend to avoid the plump curlio but when you do get these bite marks um that creates a, a a place for the rot to kind of proliferate um so in terms of harvesting them and when to harvest them a lot of that actually depends on your conditions now if you had a really dry environment and it's been really dry here i'm just letting them go as long as possible it seems like uh there's a couple squirrels that crawl along the arbor and they go up on the fence and they get in the trees and they they really start eating actually the peaches in entirety um here's actually some bite marks here from uh the squirrels here's another one here they i don't know what what they're doing they typically stay you know stay with one or two peaches but they took a couple bites this morning out of some of them um but if you're not really running into pest problems or critter issues um, and your season's relatively dry, you can pretty much just let them hang on the tree until they're soft. And honestly, that's the best time to, to harvest your peaches. It's just unrealistic. Um, although it does happen. Uh, of course, if you have a large enough tree, you're you're doing thing uh some things right here and there you're gonna get some perfect peaches off your tree that are soft i would just say here it's a little bit difficult so what i do is i try to look at the top if they're not soft or ready to eat straight off the tree i try to get them as close to soft as possible which is really what you can tell here at the top of the peach where the stem is uh, you kind of want this area here to turn a bit yellow and to lose some of that green color That you may see in here. So this one actually looks pretty good. So does this one uh, This one actually looks great uh, This one here. It's got such good coloration that you can almost really can't see if it's yellow or green in there um, So it's hard to tell sometimes here's one that actually is a bit more yellow on the inside uh, another way you can tell is if the peaches just come right off the tree uh, in a very easy way that you kind of tug on them or slightly turn them, lift them, however your, your method is there of harvesting. Um, but for the most part, these are really, really tasty, even though they have not been, you know, perfectly ripened on the tree. Um, I will take one here with me. We do actually have, I want to show you this before we go look at the trees. In here is a split pit. Um, I don't exactly know why this happens all the time. I heard it has something to do with when you thin. But inside there, you can kind of see. Maybe I can even open this up. Yeah. You can see the pit just is very strange. And then there's a... Um, uh, wait, man, what are the names of these bugs? I forget the name of them. Um, but it creates an issue, obviously. And then the pit can you know mold and it just obviously isn't great and pleasant to see but uh considering all that this is still a really good peach if you just eat around all those negative things we just mentioned um here's one that's 
relatively perfect to eat with pretty much no problems. Um, so we'll, we'll bite into this for you guys at some point here in the video. But looking over here at my trees, um, at least these are the two that I have had the longest. The Alberta here on the right, which is much further behind in its uh, ripening process. This one typically ripens a whole month later than Red Haven, uh, maybe even a month and a half. And these I really struggle to ripen quality fruits from. I don't know why that is. I think the squirrels go crazy at a certain point. But this Red Haven really has some super nice fruits. I've already harvested quite a bit, but we even have, I think, a little too many fruits on the trees. I want to just touch on this. Sometimes, you know, you just leave too many fruits on the trees, and this is a bit of a learning experience. Something you're just going to have to, you know, eventually fine-tune this, but, you know, the general rule of thumb, I think, for peaches is to thin them out every four to six inches, but, you know, sometimes you just miss some fruits, and these obviously are very, very close together. Uh, and as a result, the peaches this year, although it's been very dry and typically the drier the soil is, the better off we are in terms of the bricks and the fruit quality of our peaches. A lot of fruits up there, guys. Um, but because I have not thinned properly or have not thinned enough, uh, this Red Haven tree, the peaches could be a little bit sweeter and have a higher bricks. I could definitely tell there's a little tiny bit missing, although they're still amazing. Um, and that's what you want. That's the experience. There's actually a fruit up there that has some brown rot on it. So I need to get that down. It has not rained here really much at all. We're in a bit of a dry spell. It desperately actually would love some rain. The garden's been sad. Even some of the perennials I have in the ground, um, the blueberries and the honeyberries specifically, are struggling um but you know it just goes to show you that even with no rain we can still get brown rot in this climate and that's just not good uh we just really struggle with that disease and i think a lot of it has to do with that plum cacurlio or something happening to the peach where um it just creates an issue down the road that happens early in the season to the peach uh, but in general, uh, the trees this year have been fantastic. We opened up the center of them, although this is a three-tiered system here. Um, in terms of the arms that we have. But if I show you over here, you can probably make out the, still the middle of the tree at the top layer has been, we cut out a lot of that. And as a result, the trees um, got a lot of light that they needed and the fruits look fantastic they've been relatively disease free but again that's mostly because of the lack of rain but um yeah what an incredible harvest this year uh of peaches so anyway let me just bite into this fruit and you can kind of get an idea if you've never had a homegrown peach straight off the tree that's virtually perfect hopefully i can describe what that is like for you guys and the problem is actually when eating this is that it's so juicy that you have to eat it away from yourself otherwise you get juice on yourself um, you'll make a mess so let me take a bite it's so good extremely sweet it's like it feels like it's on the sweetness level of like those canned peaches with this with the um, the corn syrup but in a natural form like it's just that ridiculously good um classic peach flavor from this red haven peach it's just um a standard in all honesty i think uh this will be a tree i have for probably my entire life because it's i just imagine it's really hard to beat every single year it produces well for me and um yeah so that's the peaches here guys i hope you enjoyed this little chat on the peach trees and uh we'll catch you for the next one all right take care